I'm Mehmet Atlar. I love the planet, but I hate this life. I studied in a beautiful high school just by the Bosphorus. I was taught when I was watching ships, and then I was studying when I was watching ships, and then I was sleeping actually when I was really watching ships. Ships should be efficient, and really efficient coating should be applied to them to reduce the drag and reduce the emission of the carbon dioxide. The slime is still a problem because they are so sticky. Once the slime grows, as they change the surface of the hull, and hence the frictional drag, frictional resistance of the ship increases. And basically, you need to increase your power, you need to burn more fuel and release more greenhouse gas. Basically with Intersea you have a very smooth surface and chemically it's like a non-stick frying pan so nothing can adhere to the surface and anything that does attach is very easily released. The coating hydrodynamic is so complex. We try to simplify the objects. Think about that three-dimensional shape of the ship becomes like a flat plate. Then we actually study the effect of the coating in the presence of slime on the flat plate. Queen Mary 2 changed the paint application, then they have replaced that with a foul release, completely environmentally friendly coating. It didn't surprise me that there is some power saving. What we're trying to do at Axe Nobel is give customers products that reduce the environmental impact and carbon footprint of their operation. Obviously with Intersleep being biocide free, there's no biocide release into the marine environment, so it does reduce the environmental impact. And obviously on vessels, they're using less fuel and emitting less greenhouse gases. As far as the coating applications are concerned, we really like to understand how coating affects the performance of the ship. Pass this knowledge back to the uh, uh, coating companies like Axon Nobel, and then improve their coating further. So this is a good kind of turnover.